This crushing event at the elementary school. This is a horrible event. He had bullets going by him and she grabbed him and another child. The most important thing that Americans can do to fight our gun violence crisis in this country is to get off the sidelines. What do we want? Gun control! What do we want now? My name is Shannon Watts, and I'm the founder of Moms Demand Action. Moms Demand Action is the largest grassroots movement, not only in gun violence prevention, but in the country. Guns down! Lights up! We have grown exponentially in the last six years. We have a chapter in every single state of the country. We have hundreds of thousands of active volunteers, and we also have nearly five million members and supporters. Let's begin. The night of the horrific shooting at a movie theater in Aurora, my son and his sisters went to go see the premiere of Batman. And as they were getting ready to leave, the news came in over the television that there had been a shooting the night before. My son, who was about 12 at the time, had a panic attack during the movie because he started to imagine that everyone in the theater had a gun. And it was actually the beginning of a lot of anxiety for him. The grief here is still overwhelming those heading to church drawing what solace they can. What really brought this issue home for me was after Sandy Hook school shooting happened. Since I've been president, this is the fourth time we have come together to comfort a grieving community torn apart by mass shootings. Unless we change, we're going to keep getting the same thing we've had, which are lawmakers who are too often taking the profits of gun manufacturers. You know, every country is home to toxic masculinity, but only America makes it really easy for them to access an arsenal and ammunition. And that is why this country has such a uh, gun violence crisis. Can we honestly say that we're doing enough to keep our children? all of them, safe from harm. Moms demand action. I knew I had to act, and I wanted to do it with an army of other women. And creating Moms Demand Action really was supposed to just be a conversation online. It was supposed to be a Facebook page. And because type A women are badasses, they turned it into an offline movement that is one of the largest grassroots movements in the country today. So we recently just met because of your work and my campaign, and it's been amazing. You are an amazing progressive candidate who feels really strongly about the issue of gun violence prevention. And you're in a district where people aren't paying attention, and they should, yes. because you could absolutely win this election, and you need all the support that you can get, and I wanted to be that. Moms Demand Action is focused on several things. First of all, um, passing stronger gun laws at the state level. Uh, we're also playing defense at the federal level. We had hoped that we would have a president that would pass stronger gun laws. We have instead a president who is beholden to the gun lobby. You woke up the day after a horrific tragedy and said something has to be done. And you went to work. You're very good at what you do. You're kind of like a badass. Is that allowed? You have demonstrated what it looks like to sacrifice because you know what's at stake. And this is, this is the power that I think women are bringing to the table in this moment right now in our country. Your voice matters. The armed voices would carry on to the halls of Congress and echo across the nation. We were thrilled to see the Parkland students stand up in the wake of that horrific shooting at their school. It was really one of the first times we ever saw not just the students, but an entire community galvanize around a singular message in the wake of, of a shooting tragedy, and that was that we needed stronger gun laws. I do believe it is on adults in this country to shoulder the burden of making and forcing this change, but we're not gonna get it done in our lifetime. Mm -hmm. And no matter how much progress we make, 
The next generation has to show up and protect that progress. Grassroots activism is sort of this unglamorous heavy lifting of doing everything from setting up chairs to making snacks. Those are the women who inspire me every day that wake up and work on this issue no matter how hard it is, no matter how long it takes, because they know like drips on a rock that eventually it will make change.